just a little bit of history repeating. The starting point for populating the Earth began in Africa around 2 million BC. The Fertile Crescent, which is today's modern Middle East, is where the Neolithic Revolution takes place. Now before the Neolithic Revolution, people lived in hunter-gatherer societies, where the men would go out and hunt, and the women would collect food like wild berries and things like that. These people were nomadic, which means that they moved around. So they didn't live in one place, they followed the herds, which was essentially one of their main food sources. But women, who were the gatherers, were responsible for most of the food that people ate. Around 8000 BC, certain groups of humans began building fixed or permanent houses. And we still have remains of these houses today. We call these people sedentary. So these are people who stay in one spot and adopt a sedentary lifestyle which means that they make most of their food and are able to survive by farming and domesticating animals. And they also bred wild species slowly to make new species that were better suited for human needs like pulling plows or uh, milk or sheep with more fluffy fluffy sheep wool. Now a warmer climate led to improved productivity of wild grain crops and agriculture ended up providing more food than hunting and gathering, which led to a growing population. The more food you have, the more kids you're able to have because you don't have to worry about feeding them. Now people were still involved in the primary sector of society, and the primary sector is farming. But because people were food secure, we started to see a secondary sector develop. So people who were really good at manufacturing. So because people were food secure, we started seeing craftspeople and artisans making pottery and metal tools. And they were able to do this because there was a surplus of food. So artisans were people who were no longer involved in producing food and instead traded their products for food to ensure their survival. This was barter. No money involved, just trade. Cities also became really important. They really allowed for people to share their means of survival and the food and products that they made. They let people defend against invaders, so it really provided a good way for people to protect themselves. Now, Chateau Hook was one of the first major cities of humankind. It was really big and probably had between two and three thousand people living in it. All the houses were joined together and the way you'd get from one house to the next was across the roof. They grew wheat and barley and raised sheep and goats and hunted in the area surrounding the city so that they could survive. So the city was a thriving place of business. Merchants traded for surpluses and artisans made tools out of volcanic rock that be could be made into knives, mirrors, and jewelry. And they traded them for lead, copper shells, salt, and other precious gems. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and that it helps you study. I'll see you next time.